We're standing in front of the Jerba Synagogue, which is called the Lagriba. The name of the synagogue is Lagriba. And this is the story. Somewhere back in the midst of time, there was a woman who came to live here. She was alone. She had absolutely nobody in the world. And she, nobody ever paid any attention to her. And she lived in a hut. And one night, the hut burned. And the Griba, that was her name, the Griba was killed. And everybody went the next day. And they found her. The house was burned. She was dead, but there wasn't a blemish on her. And they understood then that she was a saint. She was a holy woman. And now, maybe thousands of years later, people come in a pilgrimage to honor the Griba. And inside this synagogue, there is a tunnel. The tunnel is where the Griba's home was. I can't tell you the date. They also say that the first Jews came here 2,000 years ago from the synagogue in Jerusalem. And they say that the stones of the ancient temple in Jerusalem either flew here by themselves or were carried by angels, and they're part of the structure of the synagogue. This is probably the only place in the world right now where Jews can come from Israel, from Paris, from the United States, from all over the world, and to meet safely and securely in the middle of an Arab country that really supports and sustains them. There was an Al-Qaeda bombing in the synagogue here. Unfortunately, there were German tourists who were attacked. And there was a prayer book, it's called a Chumash. And the book was, it was burned in the bombing. And there was one passage that wasn't burned. And it was, God, please save the Jewish people. And I Look at my eyes, so I will not be afraid to die. Here on the island of Jerba, it's extraordinary in the world with such tension in the world. The only difference you will see between a Jewish man and a Muslim man in the way he dresses is at the bottom. Take a look at the bottom of his pants. He has a black band on the bottom of his pantaloons. What this band is, it's mourning for the synagogue that was destroyed about 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem. It's the only place in the world you're gonna see this. The best photo you have People talk about tolerance and multiculturalism, and it's always a theory. Here it's a reality. We have been here all day. Whomever you speak to, the person says to you, we all get along, there's no difference. Jew, Muslim, we're friends, we live together. We've eaten together, we shop in the same stores. This place is a model for tolerance. This is the way I believe it should be everywhere in the world. You have to come here and see yourself.